Gosh, what an awesome college baseball game today. Both starters were, were just outstanding, Dylan and, and their guy, Chris Gonzalez. Um, just two older guys that, that know how to pitch, and that's pretty refreshing in today's baseball climate that, you know, two guys got out there and uh, commanded their fastball and threw multiple off-speed pitches for a strike. And so we just keep telling our young guys, if you do that, you got a chance to get to get them out. And both of, both starting pitchers did that. And obviously for us, Chase was just outstanding. And in relief, um, you know, four scoreless, hitless innings. Um, so that, you know, I was really glad to see us, you know, I thought Rossi pitched well last night and obviously the defense was a debacle and um, thought we played really clean today. You know, a couple of diving catches in center field that Caden made and, and the pitching was just outstanding. So, you know, we, we got to get better offensively. We know that and, and part of it is, um, you know, their starters have been really good and, and part of it is is we've got areas that we got to improve upon, but, um, you know, that's a good club, and um, these are good experiences for us to be in tie games and, and uh, extra inning games and finding ways to win. There, there's a lot of value in that. I'm really proud of our guys for, for grinding out a, an extra inning win. Yeah, Coach, you know, last week you said, you know, even though Smith's a junior, he's still inexperienced. Um, he hasn't had a ton of work in college. Um, so what did it mean for his confidence and for you guys to, you know, I think heading into the ninth inning, he was at 87 pitches. Um, you know, he, he was very efficient, um, you know, minus the few hits here and there that Stetson strung along. Um, so, you know, what is, is that kind of a stepping stone for him uh, to, you know, hopefully for you guys have a big year? Well, I mean, in, in some ways, that's probably a question for Dylan. Um, he's never lacked confidence. And, you know, the areas that he needed to prove upon weren't, you know, self-belief or, or confidence or competitiveness. He's always had those intangibles even, you know, before the success on the field came. So, um yeah, you know, he is just scratching the surface and, um, you know, he's been good every time out um, and he's been um, he's been probably the best of all the guys to this point and he's pitched really deep into the game, which is um, what you really need, especially for the uh, Saturday of a weekend. So I just can't say enough good things about him and the, the success that he's having. And, uh, you know, we internally, we're, we're not surprised. We had really high expectations for him and, you know, proud of him and, and think that he's going to have a great season. Coach, what did it mean to have the 2020 seniors uh, be able to come here and be honored before the game? Um, did that carry over at all, giving you guys some extra confidence for seeing those guys and them being able to be honored? Did that give you guys a little boost in the game? I think, yeah, again, that's probably a better question for our kids, but I, I was really glad to see them. Um, you know, you try to keep in touch with folks and, and you see them and their parents and you're like, yeah, I and talk to this guy and, you know, however long or whatever. But, um, you know, I'm very thankful to to all of our players. Um, you know, from day one since I've been here, we've we've always had great kids from great families, and I feel like that group that was honored today uh, was a big part of you know not that we've arrived or we're over the hump, but of really bridging, getting us to to kind of where we are now, and um, uh, it's something that. Um, once we had time to digest the pandemic last year, it was really important to me to do. And I'm just so thankful that everybody made the trip here. It's really hard to get, you know, several people in one place at, at one time and just very thankful to those kids and their families for coming here and giving us everything that they had while they're here. And uh, really glad we could uh, recognize them pregame and then also uh, recognize them with a win today. Hey, I told the guys, I'll say this. I told the, I told that group, I was like, when I saw that highlight video on the board, I don't know how we ever lost a game last year. I don't know how we didn't go 17 and 0. It was uh, it was another close win for you guys uh, in another different, uh, albeit kind of strange way. Um, you know, is this is this um, one of those things where there's kind of a quiet confidence in the dugout? Hey, you know, no matter what, someone's going to come through, and and we almost expect that by now. Is that kind of how the guys think right now? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. And, you know, again, the schedule was by design. Uh, I wanted to have these situations and they're, they're good for us. You grow from adversity. You know, we didn't need to play a bunch of really weak teams for four weeks and beat the crap out of them and not execute. And, you know, last night we, we, we needed that experience. We made mistakes and we lost the game. We, we don't need to play teams where we make that many mistakes and we still win. Because they, I can fuss at them all I want, but it doesn't really resonate with the kids like the wins and the losses do. And, you know, if you're not doing things at the plate 
you can still get hits against bad pitchers. And, and these guys that we're seeing right now, they can pitch and they're going to expose weaknesses. And, um, you know, this adversity that we have faced is really positive and, and uh, you, you know, you can go either way when you face adversity. I'm certainly hopeful that all of our players individually and our team collectively will will grow from it. With all that being said, hey, we're you know we're 13 and three. I'd like to be 16 and 0, but um, we've been in a bunch of close games and we've won more than we've lost. And um, we've got a lot of things we got to get better at, but we're also doing some good things. Yeah, how valuable is it to have a guy like Chase Lee come out of the bullpen and give you four innings of work uh, in an extra inning game like this? It's invaluable. It's priceless. All the the words that you would use to describe that, um, you know, it's funny, every young pitcher wants to be starting pitcher and, and every, and not that I'm an old grizzly seasoned coach, but guys like me that have been in the league 18 years, you, you know, first thought is like, who's getting those last three outs? Who's pitching the back end? Cause it's so much harder than, than the front end of the game. So, um, you know, having a guy like Chase and, and Brock Guffey too, that are experienced and have done it in high pressure environments against high level players, you know, you just, it's invaluable. All right. Okay. You guys want to talk to Dylan? Uh, yeah, that's it for me, Coach. Y'all make sure that you make Dylan laugh. He got a beautiful smile. Make him make him laugh or smile or something. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, Thanks, Coach. I only meant about half that second. Hey, how's it going, Dylan? It's going good. How y'all doing? Good. Uh, what do you think the key today was? You were you were really efficient out there. Uh, any one thing in particular? Um, I just attacked the hitters and attacked the zone with my best stuff. Dylan, you threw an immaculate inning there in the seventh. Uh, is that, how many times have you done that in your career, and how special is it to be able to to do something like that? I mean, it's it's very incredible, but. I mean, it's part of baseball. I don't know how many times I've thrown an immaculate inning. I mean, I hope to throw many more. <laughs> Was there any convincing going on uh, to coach trying to get you to go back into the eighth and back into the ninth as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was like, come on, coach. I got it. I got it. And he was like, you know, we're at our pitch count. But, I mean, I did what I needed to do. And at the end of the day, we got our – I mean, we got the W. Have you ever thrown over 100 pitches in a game before? I have. Most I've thrown is about 115 in high school. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's it for me. All right. Thank you.